All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to continue with the enzyme substrate kinetics uh, discussion. Okay, the other day we actually looked at the general mechanism for uh, enzyme kinetics, which is this enzyme binds with the substrate, forms an enzyme substrate complex, and then yields, that yields products P. Uh, the rate constants are K sub P, K sub A, and K sub A prime in this case. What we actually saw is that people doing experiments were able to find plots that were like this. This is the rate versus the concentration of substrate. And uh, the way that this uh, turns into is, well, you do so a few experiments, and you find something like this. Okay, it's a curve that we uh, said was a rectangular uh, hyperbola. And it turns out that we derived that, uh, according to this mechanism, you can actually describe these experiments with a rate law that is like this. V is equal to Vmax, concentration of S over Km, plus concentration of S, where this is just the rate and how it depends on the concentration of substrate. Uh, there's two parameters in this uh, equation, which is Vmax and Km, and uh, that depends on the enzyme, and uh, that determines also catalytic efficiency, and that's something that we'll talk about uh, in just a little short video uh, that I'll post later on. Okay, what we're going to talk, talk about today is how do we actually get this Vmax and Km from the experiments. Okay, well, a way to do this is, is to say, well, Vmax is just the maximum attainable rate. And then the idea is to, is to do these experiments until you actually see that these uh, dots taper off and they become just the maximum rate. Right? So uh, you would ideally uh, measure really large substrate concentrations until the rate is maximum. And you can see that, well, no matter how much substrate you put in, the rate is just not going to increase anymore. It reaches a maximum. Well, when you do that, then let's say that it's this point, you can actually come, come back here and say, well, that is the maximum attain attainable rate. Okay, you will determine Vmax. And then, well, since you can get, since you have Vmax, then you only have one variable in this expression. You can take any of these points where you have the rate, the concentration of substrate, you already have Vmax, and then you can solve for uh, uh, Km. And that's how you will, in principle, determine Vmax and Km. But this is, uh, this way of, of doing this is troubling because it's not obvious that you actually are ever going to do experiments in which you can actually look at, uh, you know, when this becomes uh, linear uh, and a series of order dependence in the concentration of substrate. It might be possible to not do those experiments, ideally. What you like to do is to turn this into a linear plot so that by just measuring, say, four points at whatever concentration, you actually can turn it into a linear plot and, and then fit the slope and the intercept, and maybe you can relate that to the max and Km. And that's exactly what the Langwerberg representation is. It's just a modification of the Israel law uh, so that you actually obtain a linear plot from which you can obtain uh, Km and Vmax. Okay, so uh, how does the linear uh, uh, plot uh, turn out to be? Well, what you actually do is take this expression, which is the rate law, and then uh, do the double reciprocal of it. Okay, so that would mean uh, dividing everything by one, or, or dividing one over everything, better said. Okay, which is this. And in principle, you should be able to actually develop this and turn it into a linear plot uh, and get Vmax and came in from the slope and the intercept. Okay, so ideally what you would do now is hit pause and uh, solve this expression and obtain a linear, uh, a linear representation uh, and see how you can get uh, KM and Vmax. Okay, after you uh, uh, try to do it yourself, you can continue the video and see how uh, I actually solve it. All right. So let's assume that you have already worked on it, and uh, 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 this is how you see it if you actually have done it correctly. All right, so this expression is exactly the same as 1 over V is equal to Km plus concentration of S over Vmax times concentration of S. All right, here we have a sum in the numerator that you can separate into uh, the sum of two ratios, Km over Vmax concentration of S plus concentration of S over Vmax times concentration of S. Okay? Uh, here in this second term, it's actually a cancellation. You can see that you can cancel out the concentration of substrate, and that allows you to have 1 over V equal to K sub M over Vmax, 1 over S plus 1 over Vmax. And this is what we call the Langwerberg representation. Okay, notice that in the experiments, what you're actually doing is measuring V as a function of substrate. These are the two uh, uh, 
this is a variable that you have and that is what you measure. So the, uh, and, and in the regular plot, you put this in the uh, y-axis and concentration of substrate in the uh, x-axis. The question is, well, uh, what is it that you have to plot? So this actually turns into a line involving V and concentration of S, which is what you know. Well, uh, you can actually see that this, you can turn into a linear representation like that if you make the Y be 1 over the rate and X be 1 over S. If that's the case, then the slope is just going to be KMM over Vmax, and the intercept with the Y axis is going to be 1 over Vmax. Okay, so let me plot this here so that you can see how uh, this is going to work. Okay, in the y-axis you would put 1 over v, which is this. In the x-axis, 1 over the concentration of substrate, which is that. And then this should be a straight line. Okay, this will be your uh, few points that you have that should be uh, aligned along a straight line. The slope of this is going to be km over v max, and the intercept with this axis is going to be 1 over v max. Okay? Now, notice that this is extremely convenient because notice that you actually only need a few points to be able to do a plot. You don't have the problem that you have in the uh, regular plot where you have to do many experiments until you actually see that the rate uh, does not increase anymore. Uh, with the uh, concentration of substrate, it reaches a maximum value. Uh, you don't need to do all those experiments, which is that uh, you can actually do a line with three, four, maybe five experiments, and if those experiments are of, of enough quality, you can get the values of Km and Vmax uh, through here. Okay, so uh, to solve this, the first thing you would do is get Vmax from the intercept, and then once you have Vmax, you can get Km from solving the slope. Okay, so this is the Langwood-Berg representation uh, that you guys have used in some other of your courses to get the values of Km and Vmax which are the parameters that determine uh, the efficiency of an enzyme, as we, as we will see later. Okay.